for a multitude of reasons, Poltergeist. The one from the 80s is the perfect horror movie. If you've never seen Poltergeist, or you only saw the one from 2015 that we don't fucking talk about, let me explain. It's really very simple. There was a family with three kids, and they lived in this house in California, and everything was fine until they decided to have an in-ground pool put in the backyard. And then you have a whole lot of spoopy shit start happening. Chairs are stacking themselves. The bird dies. You got earthquakes. A tree tries to eat the little boy. And then everything comes to a head when the youngest girl is sucked through the closet and into the TV. And then come to find out all of this is happening because the developers who built the houses that the husband is actually a part of built the houses on top of a cemetery. And within this cemetery was the body of this fucked up ass reverend. Like the culty kind. And they wanted the little girl, Carol Ann, to lead them into the light because, you know, pure soul or whatever. Or at least I think that's why. Either way, they wanted her to lead them into the light. And so they're going to do what family does. We're going to go in and rescue her. Because Ohana means family and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten, even if you get sucked into the nether realms. And that's what makes this movie perfect, amongst other things. But let's talk about it. I love the fact that this happened through no fault of the family's own, other than the fact they wanted to put in a swimming pool. Because up until, like, this movie was made and some other horror movies, nobody starts digging in their backyard thinking you're going to find a whole ass cemetery, much less one with a creepy cult leader. Or even if you do briefly think that there might be somebody buried in your backyard from, like, two or three hundred years ago, you don't think a whole lot of it because lots of people actually, you know, construct on top of old graves. Hell, I think it's my fifth great-grandmother. They built a whole highway on top of her. R.I.P. my estranged relative. You know, this wasn't just a family that was like, oh, there were nine people killed in this house, but it looks nice. We can live there. The little girl hasn't been seeing dead people her entire life that I remember. It wasn't until shit started going down that all this happened. Nobody was playing with a Ouija board. And that's kind of what makes it the scariest. This happened through no fault of their own, other than the pool thing. And once all the crazy stuff started happening in front of their eyes, they fully believed it. There was no, I'm going to deny it this whole time until they try to kill you. Because that's really fucking annoying. Like, it's right there. What more do you want? And the family is normal as fuck. Like, once the mom figures out that the chair can fly across the floor, she starts using her kid to do it. And I fully believe, had that been modern day, she would have been putting that shit on the internet. And I know this because I would have been putting that shit on the internet. I take that back. They did do one thing wrong. If you buy a clown doll to sit in your house, I think you're asking for haunted shit. Also, if your house goes missing due to paranormal activity, is that, does that fall under act of God? Like, where does this sit insurance-wise? Would they have to sue the development company for negligence? Okay, bye.